Hello, my name is Sally Caselli. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use a template from Google Sites to create an ePortfolio. In this case, we have a template for one of the graduate programs, and it is to be used for the internship ePortfolio. The ePortfolio in this case has certain spots where you can insert the information. It has directions, and also it has these additional evidence sections, for example, for the placement information, various requirements for section two, for example, here are the forms and documents and such. Then you have competencies and evidence that you have to provide for uh, this section. And then additionally, you have a couple other pages here as well. Now, in this case, I realize that we are using a template. If you have to create this from scratch, by going to sites.google.com. And from here, you can create a site very similar to this uh, very quickly. So if you were to click on create and then choose under new sites, and then you need to give it a name, and then you can change the design how you want it by simply clicking on any of those layouts here on the right hand side. Also, you can insert pages here. So if you wanted to add more than one page, like we saw a moment ago, you click on pages and then you choose new page and then you give it a name, click on done. And now this will be our second page. And notice it put automatically here on the top, the link to this specific page. Then you can go back under the insert here and then insert components within this page, whether it is something like that. So uh, for the purposes of this, video, of this video, I'm using an existing template and updating it with your directions. Before you start inserting any content in here and linking any content, I suggest that you first set up the structure of your files in Google Drive. So we are gonna use Google Drive for structuring the files and then we're gonna use Google Sites here for demonstrating or showing the evidence and sharing those files in a more visually pleasing way. First, we go here under Google Drive, and to get to Google Drive, just make sure you go to drive.google.com, and then simply when prompted to log in, and then to make sure that you're using the right account, you can change accounts here on the top right hand side and add additional accounts and such. And either select an account here or choose to add another account from here. To create the structure, you can do it a couple ways. The structure for your files. You can first be under documents on your computer, create a folder here called ePortfolio, and then organize these files the way you want them. So we created the folder, we rena renamed the files, the, and this is from the local computer. Now we need to be on Google Drive and then need to move those files or copy those files to Google Drive. To do that, we open Explorer here and then we go under Documents and then we drag this folder to Google Drive here. So we are under My Drive and then we have File Explorer on top. We drag the folder here to the left anywhere and then drop it. So we are basically uploading the whole folder at this stage. You can also create a new folder from scratch here by clicking on New and then choose Folder and then create the folder manually this way. So this is the one uh, that I just created from the web. This is the one that I just dragged and dropped. It doesn't matter how you do it and then you'd simply add the files from either by clicking on new and then choose file upload or you can choose also folder upload manually from here as well. So assuming that you got your folder and files and you created a folder in Google Drive, now the best thing to do is to share this folder. So it has the right permission so when you send it to anyone they'll be able to access those files. Now to share them you simply right click on the folder and then choose share or you can use this button share up here as well on the top right. Click on share and then click on advanced and then click uh, change and then choose 
anyone with a link. Basically, you're saying that any files that you put in the ePortfolio folder in the future, they will be shared automatically or they will be available to anyone who has the link to those files. Because what will happen is, is that from the ePortfolio, we're going to link to those specific files in Google Drive. And then click Done. Now, at this stage, these are the files that we currently have in there. If we wanted to add new ones, you can either upload them manually here by clicking on New, choose File Upload, and then browse for the files under Documents or wherever your files would be. And if you wanted to structure those accordingly in uh, subfolders, you can do that as necessary. Now that we have set the structure and we have moved to Google Drive, now we can go to the ePortfolio. The ePortfolio in this case would have been shared with you from your instructor. The first thing that you probably want to do is update your picture and then your name in here. Simply start typing in there. To insert your picture, click here on the plus sign and then choose from Drive. So because we want to use the picture from the uh, from Google Drive. Of course, you could upload it from your own computer as well, but it's best to have all the evidence on Google Drive. And then on the right hand side, notice we have the folder ePortfolio that we created earlier. We click here on ePortfolio. And then we have a listing of all the files here uh, from our ePortfolio. Then pick the file that has your picture, double click on it, crop it and resize this accordingly. Uh, you can introduce yourself simply by including uh, three or four short paragraphs, or you can utilize a video as well if you want to record it with Text Me Relay or some other tool there. Now to insert the resume here, uh, you can do it a couple ways. You can either hyperlink to it so that this, the word resume here would go directly to the document and it's not being displayed directly on the page here, or we can embed it directly on this page. Let's say this is my resume over here. So I just simply right click on it, choose get shareable link on that file. This is the link for it, so I'm going to copy it, Control C, or however you copy the document, anything. Now I go back to my ePortfolio, and then I select the word resume, and then click on Insert Link, and then I'm going to paste the link that I copied earlier from Google Drive. And it will take me to my actual document that contains my resume. You can also insert an actual file from Google Drive. So let's suppose that I wanted to embed the file similar to this in here. In this case, you can uh, simply double click and you can insert text, you can insert images, upload something and also use from Google Drive. Notice you can insert the components as well from the right hand side. So choose from Drive and then it'll show you the files from Google Drive. Of course, navigate to the right ePortfolio folder and then pick the file that you want. And then once you have selected the file, double click on it and then notice it will embed it in your uh, ePortfolio. If we go, let's suppose that we need to go and post evidence for these additional pages here. So you'll go through each one of those pages, download the forms first and complete them and then you're going to provide the evidence over here for your instructor. Now in this case the best option here would be for you to go and get the form, download it, complete it, save. Now I need to upload this to Google Drive first. Go to Google Drive and then bring that file in. So I click here on File, Upload. Now in, the, in this case, my file was under the Downloads. So here it is, the Internship Placement Information Sheet. And uh, it's now uploaded to Google Drive. You can right-click, Get Shareable Link to get the link to this file. Copy it. Now we go back to the ePortfolio page here. And then under Evidence, we are going to click here on Internship Placement Information Sheet. This is the completed one that we are providing as evidence. And then we're going to use the Insert Link option from here. Paste the link in the bottom and then click on Apply. 
whoever is going to view this page will click on it and then it'll open the file from Google Drive. So you'll repeat this process for all the other components in your ePortfolio. Again, there are forms in the ePortfolio, you're downloading them, filling them out on your computer, and then uploading to Google Drive, getting the link from Google Drive, and then posting the URL to those links in here. Obviously, it's best to put all the evidence first on Google Drive, and then you do the linking and the updates from here. Of course, you can post notes, you can add additional components to this by going under Insert and choosing additional components that you might want to add to those pages. But the bare minimum is that you go in and then provide the evidence for each one of those areas. Then you'd move to the next area and uh, other requirements within your ePortfolio. Thank you.